Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Normally this would be on my desk, but I'm actually a little bit late in the game because I've already seen others unback, 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 unboxing this box from PCBWay. And although this isn't a sponsored video, I often don't pay enough attention to that. This is a Quinn boxed and well, we're gonna unbox a box sent by PCBWay. And it's not one I ordered, it's one they sent. So, uh, well, let's do it from the other side. The tape is tough. Right, so, oh. They actually sent this for Christmas. And I know it has a few goodies in it, because as, as I said, some other YouTubers have already received it. I just kind of dropped the ball when I, uh, you know, there wasn't a Quinn box that I could do or did at the right time. So, we're doing it now. And maybe you haven't seen it yet. Maybe you have. I don't know. And I know there's some Christmas goodies in there. But if they're good goodies, they'll be good after Christmas too. So, we're taking a look. If you want to skip this, uh, go to uh, whatever time it says right now. To the normal... Ooh, ooh, ah, to the normal Queen Box content. But, for now, we're going to take a look at this guy. So... I believe this is a notebook. Now, I don't actually use much or any paper anymore, uh, but let's have a look. Oh, yes. It's a nice notebook. Well, I'll see if maybe the girlfriend likes it. Because, well, I like it. I just don't use paper. And, uh, oh, what's this? Sorry if the, if it's hitting the mic. Stop hitting the mic. There. Uh, okay. Interesting. Oh. Oh, wow. This must be an example of their... Uh, 3D printing service, I think. That looks excellent. I can't tell if that's 3D printed or not. This is perfectly smooth. Maybe they have some casting options you can use. I don't know. I guess you can look on the website. But PCB Way can certainly do more than just make your PCBs nowadays. So. Go on. Now, this is the type of thing, it, it's good to demonstrate their capabilities, and I guess it's for that. Other than that, I'm not going to put this anywhere, realistically. So, I mean, it's cool, but, yeah. If this is to demonstrate their capabilities, I guess for that it's good, because it, it certainly looks capable. Some PCB Way merch. Oh, I got one of these, or a few of these last year, too. These are actually really cool. There are PCBs, but there's little uh, diodes on there, so LEDs. And you can put a button cell, and it has a little button. And then it lights up on both sides. And they have the e-ink finish, so it looks nice and uh, golden. Yeah. That's cool for in the Christmas tree. Of course, my girlfriend like, likes birds, so we have birds in the Christmas tree. And, and, and lots of LEDs, because, you know, I get to say something too. Um... Oh, right, I saw, well, as I said, another YouTuber unbox this. It's a uh, a phone stand, but I believe it's actually quite a decent one for metal. Yeah, it is. That's pretty heavy duty. It has a nice uh, rubber here, anti-slip, on the bottom too. Cool. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to use that myself. <laughs> um, let's see what's in the box. <laughs> it's a PCB way mug because you know wow so it almost looks like gold enic finished but who knows cool okay I can drink my hot I actually like the box the most I'm a box guy I try to keep all these boxes and never use them but eh, you know <laughs> I like a good box I'm gonna keep the box Okay, uh, let's get rid of that. 
Ah, uh, what's this? It's probably a mouse mat or something. Yeah, I think so. That's a rubberized mouse mat. I think you've been using fabric mouse mats the uh, last few years. Or it's, it's not rubber, but it's like, you know, it's not fabric either. I don't know what it is. Cool, okay. Okay, a few items left. Oh wait, there's another mouse mat. Okay, so maybe this is more of a working surface than a mouse mat. Uh, whoop, 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 there it almost went. This is a mouse mat, yep. And uh, this is fabric. Okay, sure. Oh, what's this? Is this a pack? Does it, does it say my address? Because uh, it does say on here what it is. It's a... So we got a portable notebook, cell phone holder, piece of B way mug, a thickened table mat, that's the, the big one, a mouse pad, and then an embroidered pillow quilt dual, dual usage. Whoa. And um, let's see what else it says on the other side. Uh, nothing. So I guess we're almost done. Uh, we got a little uh, a little note here, or a little card. Let's see what they say. Aw, hi Andres. Fancy meeting you in this matter. Well, that's very kind. As I said, I'm bad at sponsorships. They they want to sponsor me. They actually offer me money to do so, but. Uh, I always have a hard time integrating it, and I'd like to do a funny commercial now and then. I've done a few of those, but I don't know. Uh, uh, do you guys mind if the video gets interrupted for a little funny commercial break? I'll try and make it funny like the last one I did. And uh, it does make me a little bit of money, so. but, you know. So this is a little uh, PCB way. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. PCB prototype the easy way. Well, I do actually use PCB way for all my prototypes. I recently showed off uh, this prototype on a live stream. We actually replaced the ESPC3, ESP32C3 chip on there. So that's why it looks a little, little bit bodged. But yeah, this is a prototype for the Quinn LED AN Mini. More to come soon. Um, right, so... There's a zipper all the way along here. Do I want to unzip this? I don't know. After this, we'll resume our regular... Oh, oh there's no zipper there. Regularly scheduled content. Come on. Zipper. You can do it. Nope. There we go. So, oh yeah. Oh, oh it's very soft. Yes. Cool, so it's a pillow that folds into a quilt. Well, this would be useful for like, I don't know, in the car when on long drives or something like that. That's cool. I'll keep that. <laughs> right. Um, let's get back to a regular queen box. Hello. We'll start with this. I don't know what this... Well, <laughs> I was going to say, I don't know what this is. But it says it right here. Nine pieces of metal and wood file set. Cool. I think this is because in the live stream, I mentioned, like, what is a good way to check if it's copper or not? And somebody said, file it. And I'm like, I don't have a file. <laughs> well, oh, oh, oh. Other way around. Nope. It's, it's dual, uh, dual side. <laughs> dual-sided action, I guess. Uh, well, now I do have files. So now I can file it. Uh, and, you know, oh, okay. it's, it's just a carry bag. Okay, okay. Let's take a quick look at it. So there's a big heavy-duty file, big heavy-duty round file, uh, another, it's probably a different grit or something file. I'd have to look up the listing. Uh, and then some uh, smaller files and a carrying case. That's pretty good, like that. No clue on quality. It's, uh, you know, it's probably decent. Most of these tools, if you spend a little bit of money, are decent, but I can't tell you yet. 
because it's a Quinn box. Maybe during the live streams. We'll uh, we'll get to find out. Okay. I've been using this little box knife for so many things recently. It's amazing. You'll, uh, you'll actually see a video about that. What do we have here? It's very small and tiny. Man, don't have my things in order today. Okay. Um, yep, go. Okay. This is uh, hard to say what this is. I'm sure item description uh, over over there over there will know, but yeah. oh, I know what this is. This is a little USB trigger device, so you can um, set the resistor, I think, or something like that, or a solder bridge, and then you can trigger USB C to you know assume a certain voltage. Cool. Okay. Uh, I want to play with those. Oh, and before someone asks, I have a, a bad case of winter rash. It happens. It hurts. It's fine. It'll go away when it's not winter anymore. Uh, well, as is often the case in these uh, twin box videos, if there's one, there is likely another. So this is a different USB PD trigger uses a different chip, so a slightly different module. Let me zoom you in a little bit. There. Yeah. Probably the most of the packages we're going to have are going to be a little bit smaller anyway. So yeah, this is a different USB trigger or USB C PD trigger, different chip, you know. Uh, I like to test th those out to see how they work and if they work well and, you know, maybe then have a product of my own which does that or not or integrated in some project Who knows? it's good to learn well this is a peewee extender okay all oh, right i was wondering about this guy that's probably why i ordered it so we haven't done much ip camera content recently uh, but this is a very simple PUE in and then PUE 1, 2, and 3 out for if you have multiple IP cameras on a single uh, location. This is a switch and a PUE, well, it says extender. Uh, so you only have to run one cable and then you can run three cameras. And it'll, it'll do 10 to 100 megabits, that's fine. And it'll take in 44 to 57 volt, 30 watts, so that's AT. And then it'll, it'll provide 25 watts in total out. But since a generic IP camera uses like 3 watts to maybe 6 to 7 watts if IR is on, you can actually run 3 IP cameras using just a single cable. I'll have to make a little box close to the IP camera, but yeah. Okay, let's see what's in here. This feels and looks like something that can't be missed. LEDs. Yes. <laughs> so oh oh i was wondering about this one cool nice i didn't know this was here yet okay <laughs> well i don't know if this is when they sent it but um 24 volt uh cop material and oh this is not rgb cct this is wwcw so warm white and cold white it's an analog strip so, no it's a digital strip p4 P9411? I don't know what that means. It says RA90. That'd be interesting. So this is a digital strip because it has chips on it. <laughs> and it has a data uh, out and a data in. 24 volts. Okay, so this is a digital CCT strip. And I've been testing a few of those. And there will be upcoming videos about that once software support is available for these kind of things. But these are the second new thing like the neon addressable video I made that are currently coming out, which are very interesting because these, the, the ones I've tested so far, I have one which is actually CRI 90. So is actually decent quality white light uh, while still being addressable. So this will be tested. 
And then if it's good, it'll end up in some recommendation or a dedicated video. Either. What's in here? Oh, yes. A buck or boost or buck boost or something like that converter of a better quality variety um, or at least a, a better functionality variety. This looks pretty decent. <laughs> There's a giant heatsink on this little chip here. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yep. On to the testing pile. Is this more LED strip? Wow. It's a strong-ish. I don't know what this is. Oh! <laughs> I know what this is. For some project, I want to experiment with uh, thermal uh, connectivity to like a heatsink or even a case. And this is... Um, well, thermal conducting material, basically, but it is electrically isolating. And um, so it says breakdown voltage is uh, 9.8 kilovolts. So that it, even if it's 10,000 volts, it basically almost doesn't let it through. But it is thermally conductive, just not electrically conductive. And this is uh, 1.5 millimeter, 1 millimeter, and 2 millimeters. And then a 10 by 10 centimeter sheet so you can cut it in whatever size or shape you need it and then put it between your chip or board and the heatsink or case or something like that more experimentation yes oh <laughs> i can now i now have led sense i know i know there's leds in this one what's in here Oh, uh, it's some WS2812B, I guess, and more. I don't know what I needed that for. Don't even remember ordering that. Oh no, when you don't remember ordering your LEDs, there's there's probably something wrong. You're ordering too many LEDs. So this is from Basu. Let's see what's in here. Oh, right. I recently ordered a few of these 8K uh, HDMI cables. I actually upgraded our TV and home theater system, and I got one of these cables or a few, and I really like them. So I was like, okay, I want some more. And this is a three meter one. So yeah, and it's supposedly HDMI 2.1. So fully 8K or 4K 120 Hertz. Yeah. Nice. I like these cables. I didn't get them with the metal plugs because in the end that doesn't make a difference. But from what I've noticed so far, these do really well. Okay, let's get this one on top because it's blocking my view and I have no idea what's in here. Oh, well, we were just talking about these and this is a sneaky package because because I used some of them already. Um, more 8K, 1 meter, 2 meter, uh, 0.5 meter, 1 meter HDMI cables. Because as I said, I liked it, and then I like using a lot of it. <laughs> okay, we can go over that one quickly. This box is, this package is almost LED shaped. <laughs> It's the same thing. It's probably the same thing, but from a different vendor. Uh, but this this very much looks like exactly the same thing. P941, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, okay, this one's produced earlier than that one. <laughs> Again, uh, for testing purposes, and I often test multiple vendors, so I know what to actually recommend, because I bought it there. Uh, yeah. 
Oh, right, uh, some small cables, because I'll be doing some battery projects and some other projects which needed uh, JST, but then, does it say anywhere? No. But then really small versions, and I don't need it solder it on the board. I, I have the board solder versions generally, but I don't like crimping these cables myself, so I just get them pre-wired like this from AliExpress. And generally they do a great job. So this is like 1.25 millimeters and this is probably one and some different connector types and things like that. I'm hoping one of those will also fit the JK BMSs that I'm using in um, in the Quinergy project. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, right, um, I'm looking into maybe doing something with a Pi at some point. Um, so this is um, a board that is suited uh, for the Raspberry Pi 0W, or the 2W it should be. And this one adds two Ethernet ports to USB ports. And it basically connects to the Raspberry Pi using these little pogo pin standoffs so um yeah as, as i've mentioned before if there's already a solution that does somewhat like what i'd like it to do i like looking at it and you know getting it and testing it cool i don't like making products that already exist and are good but i can learn from those and integrate them into my own stuff. Wow, that's heavy. Damn. That's, uh... Oh, okay. What are these? Well, this is definitely for the Quinergy project. Uh, oh, yeah, they, these are 50 millimeters square. Okay. And they're lugs, but they're really long. What are these? Oh, for 25 mm. Why did I get 25 mm square? Okay. Uh, anyway, I think I might want to use these in my battery boxes. I'm not sure yet, but damn. Wow. Those are nice. Look at the thick walls. I mean, and they're very long. So you can have a lot of exposed copper in there and then crimp it. Wow. Well, I guess we should use the file on them if they're copper. They have a copperish color, I guess, but... Oh, I'm impressed by those. They're heavy. <laughs> cool. Well, I have a... I should have a plan for those. And if not, they, they, they're already just looking pretty. Okay. Um... Mm -hmm. This sounds like a box, right? Let's uh, open that up. Oh, yeah, there's two boxes in there. I don't know. It's upside down. I think. I hope. I don't know. Okay, the box didn't. Oh, that's right. Um, my current situation for holding my solder and uh, stuff like that isn't great. So I was like, okay, let's buy some soldering holder, solder roll holders like uh, like these. Hold on. Uh, yeah, like, like, you know, this is uh, my leadless or uh, lead free solder. And uh, in theory, I hope this fits. It does. That's good. I have to poke through the label, I guess. Uh, uh, that will, oh, there we go, let's do that, and this should fit in here, I think, yeah, no, well, there's probably a proper way to do it, <laughs> I guess this screws together like that, I don't know, oh, and the solar can go through here, oh, okay, so this goes in here, 
and then this should be closer together like this I guess and then the solder will go through this little feeder here and that should make a neat solution I think yeah interesting cool yeah okay sure mm. oh this one's missing a screw but it would need a nut too uh, Let's see if there's a nut in the boxes. Yes. Whoa, okay. That's a good luck there. Let's put this on there, because otherwise I'll lose it. Yeah, probably you have to tighten this, and then the roll will uh, sit in there without falling out. Cool, okay, let's get that out of the way. Uh, we have a few, uh, few items left. Um... They're pretty small, so using this tool exactly like you shouldn't, like a pickaxe. Ha! Come on, what's in here? Yep. Yep. So, oh, these are little drills. I'm not sure why. 1.5 millimeter, 2 millimeter. Well, I am planning on drilling some holes, and I probably didn't know what size I needed, so I got some uh, some different sizes. Uh, I know I want to make M3 holes and then thread them, probably through copper. So that's why I got drills. Uh, and you know, you know me. I shop on AliExpress. Ha. Okay. What are these? They're likely electrical because they have the, the typical electrical utility color. Oh, okay. Can just take them out like that. Terminals. Oh, right. These are terminals, but then they have heat shrink insulation. So instead of having normal insulation, um, I believe this is heat shrink insulation. So you can actually, once you've crimped your cable in there, he shrink this around it, and uh, yeah, these are pretty good. Uh, yeah, and they're male and female, so let's take this one. And the uh, the num the name here, the MDFN uh, 5.5, 1.25, and 2 are different cable sizes, basically. And they have a little shoe. And a blade or spade or whatever you want to call it and they should slot together like so maybe in theory mm. yeah and there you can make electrical connections that are fully insulated and uh, you know that's good oh no that's not good well I guess uh, it requires to be heat shrinked before it'll stay in tightly. I guess. I don't know. Cool. I'll uh, likely use those in some upcoming projects. It, these are pretty good. Uh, I use other variants of these too. When you want to have disconnections or able to disconnect things, you can easily make those on your cables and disconnect them at the points you need. Okay. Okay. A more buck boost converter type thingies, but various different ones. Do we want to take a look at those? Can we? Can we? Yes, we can. Okay, 
so these are two types of buck or boost converters or buck boost or sepic or something like that and i was likely interested in their design this one has a cool little display and uh, yeah interesting all right and i think i wanted to load test these before building a solution with them myself but maybe maybe more in the future ah oh, yes this is something you always need i know i mean it just feels there we go it's cable <laughs> we all need cable it's four gauge so that means it's our uh, the this this size <laughs> in millimeter square and this is silicon cable it says it on there and two meters of each color or yeah red and black cool feels nice and hefty oh and we've reached the last package if cutting fails just tear it okay whoa whoa what's in here ah <laughs> more solar spool holder Oh wow, this is better quality than the other ones. But this is a uh, a dual one. So we have the single one here. And I think probably when you screw it together with the little clip thing here, it's probably going to be fine. I don't know. Um, but this is a dual version. So it's a dual height tower. And um, it's kind of the same mechanism. But if you look at the, the flimsy steel on this one, and then the powder coated steel on this one with a uh, texture and this one's uh, I don't know oh, is, it, is it plastic no it's metal but it's this one's a lot sturdier oh yeah no anti-slip that's uh, that's too bad but it has two little uh, feeders here uh, screwed down I like this one this is good yeah I like that one okay anyway uh, I'll, I'll test them out i'll test them out both that's fine i have a multiple different types of solar with lead without lead different temperatures uh, so that's why i have multiple of these so i can easily store them and use them but uh, so far this feels a lot better than the than these flimsy guys but it's probably more expensive too i don't know it's it'll be on the screen anyway um yeah box is empty it's gone so that is it for this queen box i again as always thank you very much for watching these videos it i like doing them they're easy and especially when i'm busy with design work or things behind the scenes they're easy to get out you guys seem to enjoy them so that's good as always all links will be uh, or affiliate links will be in the description they keep me going they keep all the other projects going and especially keep the queen box going so thanks for watching See you guys next time. Bye-bye.